Hello audacious, audacious everywhere. Isn't it wonderful that wherever we are in the world we can connect with our church. My name is Jen Weaver and I'm from the North location and today I'm going to tell you about how Jesus found me. I was raised in a Christian family but that didn't make me a Christian. God wants us to choose to serve him. Way back in the 1920s my grandmother had cancer. She had surgery and her breast was totally removed. Technically, her operation was a success. They got rid of the cancer, but because the surgical techniques weren't so good in those days, they cut some of the ligaments through in her armpit and she couldn't lift her arm. It was like she was paralyzed. One day, she heard a preacher was coming to her town. That was in Bishop Auckland in the northeast of England. And he prayed for people that God would heal them. And amazing miracles were happening. So Grandma decided she would go for prayer. The evangelist was called Stephen Jeffries. And he told the congregation that God had a plan for their lives and that Jesus had died and risen from the dead so that they could have their sins forgiven and come into relationship with God. And that night, Grandma became a Christian. Then Stephen Jeffries prayed for the people who wanted prayer. And so my grandmother immediately went for prayer. And after Stephen Jeffries had prayed for her, she was able to raise her arm right up over her head. It was amazing. It was a miracle. She went home to Grandad, who was a worldly wise man, and he liked to drink a lot. And she said to him that she'd been prayed for. And she showed him that now she could lift her arm right up. Grandad said immediately, man tied your arm down. Only God could release it. To cut a very long story short, the whole family became Christians. And one of them was my dad. Fast forward now to me being a young girl. I grew up in a Christian family, but as I've said, that didn't make me a Christian. God deals with us individually. He's a personal God. And one night I went to a kids meeting. I was very young and they were telling a story from the Bible about when the children of Israel um, were being bitten by snakes and the poison was killing them. And God told Moses to build a pole in the centre of the camp and to put on it a brass snake. And he said, if they looked at the snake, they would be saved. This was showing that one day Jesus would come and he would be lifted up on a cross and he would die for our sins because he had lived a perfect life and I haven't. And if I look to Jesus, I could have my sins forgiven. As a child, I wanted to be saved. I wanted to have Jesus as a friend. And as I prayed, I knew that Jesus had come into my life and I wanted to serve him. Romans 10.9 says that if we confess the Lord Jesus and believe that God has raised him from the dead, we will be saved. I then set about sharing my faith with my friends and my school teacher and she actually came to church. I liked being a Christian and I still like being a Christian. I have had an amazing life serving God. My life has been full of miracles. On the front door of our home is a mezuzah. The Jews have these on their doorposts and inside a Jewish mezuzah is the Shema, a blessing from the Old Testament. However, in our mezuzah, we put something different. It was another Bible verse that we wanted as a faith statement for our family. Joshua, the great Old Testament leader, challenged Israel in this verse. He said, you can serve whoever you like, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that has been our family motto 
all our lives. There have been times when those twins, doubt and fear, have visited. Oh yes, they have. But God is always near. And a Christian friend might help you. Or just talking to God might help you to encourage you to keep going in difficult times. Don't let anyone or anything steal your faith. I now have less time to live than I have lived. But God has a place for me in heaven. Because of Jesus, I have nothing to fear. Remember, audacious church, that serving God is the best life. Hope to see you soon. God bless you.